let's talk about energy theft. It's not something people think about every day, but it happens all around us in ways that are illegal, dangerous, and shocking. In some cases, it's criminals setting up large-scale cannabis growing operations that require huge amounts of ventilation and light. And they power all of that equipment by stealing electricity straight from the grid. But that is just one part of it. Energy theft is also happening in everyday places like shops, garages, salons, and rental properties. Sometimes it's the landlords cutting the corners. Sometimes it's businesses trying to save a little bit of money. But whatever the reason, the method is usually the same. Tampering with meters, rewiring systems, or completely bypassing them. Regardless of how they do it, it is always dangerous. You end up with overloaded circuits, exposed cables, and equipment that has not been installed correctly. It is a serious virus for anybody living or working nearby. It is not just illegal, it is putting people's lives at risk. If you see something that looks off, burnt meter boxes, wires exposed, cables where they shouldn't be, too many cables, dodgy installations, you can report it completely anonymously. Head to stateenergysafe.co.uk or call them. It is 100% anonymous and you might be stopping something serious before it happens. There's been over a 300% increase in energy theft reports over the last six years. There is never an excuse for messing with electrics. But if somebody is struggling to pay their bills, there is proper help out there, such as grants, advice and safer ways to lower your energy bills without putting anyone in danger. If you feel something is not right, trust your instincts, report it. It's quick and it's anonymous and it could save a life or property because energy theft is not just against the rules, it's seriously unsafe and the risks are never worth it.